You're watching the newsroom on TV360. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Eleven people have been confirmed dead in a fresh attack by unknown gunmen in Plato State, North Central Nigeria. The spokesperson of the police command, Tena Yopev, also confirmed 12 others were injured after the gunmen attacked Lopande Dewi Du area of just South local government area of the state. He said the injured have been taken to the Josh University Teaching Hospital, Juth, and Plato Specialist Hospital in the state. The Registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, Professor Ishak Uloyede, has assured that the 2019 general elections will not affect the board's 2019-2020 examination. The JAM Registrar says the body will begin the 2019-2020 examination process by October, promising that the procedure for the next examination would be better than the last. The Nigeria Police Force says it has complied with an Akure High Court order demanding the release of two murder suspects, Adefemi Mafimishebi and Wemimo Mafimishebi. The clarification follows allegation that the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, is facing contempt of court for disobeying the court order to release the suspect. The Chinese President Xi Jinping has offered $60 billion of additional financing for Africa. President Xi defended China's investment program in Africa, saying there were no political strings attached to the project, which he said were of mutual benefit. Now, more than 30 pro-democracy activists have been arrested in the Democratic Republic of Congo after holding a protest against the planned use of controversial new voting machines in the presidential election, which is due in December. The activists from the organization Lucha were also calling for a review of the voters list. Now the Congolese police say they have released some of the demonstrators. The International Court of Justice has begun hearing into the dispute over the future of the Chagos Island. Mauritius claims sovereignty over the British archipelago in the Indian Ocean which hosts an important U.S. military base in Diego Garcia, the largest of the 60 islands. More than 60,000 workers from the mainly white union Solidarity have begun a three-week strike in South Africa over their expulsion from a company share scheme by a petrochemical company, CESO. Now, CESO recently introduced a new 10-year staff share scheme, that's Kanyisa Phase 2, which excludes white workers and foreign nationals, something the union's Dirk Herman says is causing racial tension on the work floor. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, Luka Modric and Mohamed Salah have made the final three for FIFA's The Best Men's Player of the Year award. Ronaldo and Modric both helped Real Madrid to Champions League glory prior to the former's move to Juventus, with Salah scoring an incredible 44 goals in all competition for Liverpool. That means there is no place in the final three for Barcelona's sensation Lionel Messi, despite his exploit in helping the Catalan giant win the La Liga title last season. Now in the coaches' categories, Nadine Zidane, Didier Deschamps and Zlatko Delic are the three finalists for FIFA's The Best Coach Award. Now, former Real Madrid coach Nadine Zidane is the current holder of the award and is nominated for the third time in a row after guiding the Spanish side to a third consecutive Champions League victory last season. And that's the latest from our newsroom. Thanks for watching. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Bye for now.